Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting tutorial for managed compass group iPads. Uh, today we are going to be learning about the Intelligent Hub, what it does, why you need it, and uh, what, some of, what are some of the features surrounding the application. So the Intelligent Hub application is actually used on our iPads to authenticate you to be able to use the iPad. Um, you can kind of think of it in a way as, you know, the same thing as logging into your laptop or your desktop computer. Uh, the only way you can access your applications on that computer is to actually log in. So um, that's what we need to do. You need to log in using your Compass credentials. Um, once you do, you'll be presented with um, your application stack for your particular sector. Um, so let's go ahead and get started and see how we actually use it. Okay, so on your device, on your home screen, you should be um, able to see a white and blue icon. Um, it will read Hub right below it. So to use it, we just launch the application. And we will wait for it to load up. If this is the very first time that you've used Hub, uh, like if this is a brand new iPad you just received, you will have to agree to the terms and conditions and privacy statements um, within the application itself. So as you can see, the first screen I'm presented with is my privacy screen. So I can scroll all the way down and then at the very bottom, we're just gonna tap I understand. And then the next screen is gonna be data sharing. Um, on that, you just wanna tap on I agree for that, please. All right. Once we're here, we're at the login screen. So this is where you're going to need to enter your Compass credentials. So this is going to be your standard username and password that you use, um, most likely to log on to like your laptop. Um, so it will be the last um, five characters of your last name, plus the first initial of your first name, followed by a number, and then your password. So let me go ahead and put in my, after you're done entering your credentials, go ahead and tap sign in. After you sign in, you may be presented with a little dialog box where it says Hub would like to send you notifications. Go ahead and tap allow on that. What this is going to allow anytime that we need to send out a message to your device or if there's a new application being pushed to your device, you will get notified to let you know that something will be available for you. So we're going to go ahead and tap allow. And there we go. We are now logged in and authenticated through Hub. As you can see, this is just a little main welcome screen here, just welcoming you, welcoming you to the Hub application. Uh, so you can see here, um, it just says basically go ahead and tap your home button to access all of your business applications. Uh, we'll go through the other tabs later on just to kind of go through the features, but basically this is how you get into your iPad and view your applications. So we're going to tap the home button. And once we tap my home button, you'll notice that now I have my applications that are catered to me or my sector. The screens in this video may vary between sectors, so please don't um, uh, email us and, and wondering why you may be missing some of the applications you see on the screen. Each sector has um, a different layout and different applications um, for their use. Okay, And when you are done with Hub for the day, after you're done with your shift, um, and you need it to be available for another user, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go back into the Hub application. So we're going to go ahead and tap on Hub. We will wait for it to load. And then you'll notice up in the upper right-hand corner, just below the battery percentage, you're going to see a little circle, and it should have your initials in it. So to exit out, we're just going to go ahead and tap the circle. And then we're going to go ahead and tap on Log Out. And after you log out, um, the iPad will be ready for use for another associate. Um, you'll want to do this daily. Um, if you do not, you will automatically get kicked out of Hub after eight hours. Um, but you are gonna, you're going to want to make sure that you log out for that for the day to make sure that the passcode's clear. Um, if, if there's one set on your device, it'll clear automatically for you and, and prepare the device for the next user to log in. Okay, Hub is now loaded again for me, and we're going to go through the tabs down at the bottom. The first one we're going to start out with is Apps. Now, this is not where you go to launch applications. 
this is a built-in app catalog uh, for your for your use and reference so if you go ahead and tap on all apps this should be all of the physical apps pushed to your iPad as you can see most of them are already installed um, and, and are ready for use um, if you tap your home button and you access them through the home screen but occasionally we put apps in here that are on a per install basis um, if you do see an app in here that says that has a button next to it that says install you may go ahead and install it at your leisure it will install it for everybody on that device for use if you need to reinstall applications so say for example there's an there's an app that um, when you go and launch it it keeps crashing what you want to do is you can come back in here to this app catalog find your application and hit reinstall we're going to pretend like origami mobile forms has been crashing on us and we need to reinstall it so to save myself an email or a call to the IT help desk I can actually do this myself so to reinstall the origami mobile forms application I'm going to find it in my list and I'm going to tap on it. Once I tap on it and open it up, it's going to give you some screenshots and a description of the app. But at the very top under the title, you will also see reinstall. All you're going to want to do is tap on reinstall. And that's it. It's going to reinstall the application for you. So after a few minutes, the screen should refresh and it should say installed or reinstall and then you'll be all set. That application has now been reinstalled for you. The For You page allows us to send notifications and other things to your device. Some can be helpful, some may just be informational. As you can see right now, there's a Tropical Storm Fred weather update waiting for us to read. Let's check it out. You open the tap to open the card, and you can review the information that was passed along to your device. From here, we're able to see an embedded link. We can click on that link, and it should automatically open a browser for you to, to view the content. And step back. Once you are done reading the notification, you can just go ahead and tap mark as read, and it'll go away. To view your history of messages, you may also tap on history in the upper right hand corner, and there you will see the history of cards that have been pushed to your device. Now let's review the support tab. The Intelligent Hub Support tab lists important information about your device. Let's go through each section. On the right, under Device Details, you will see the information about your iPad listed below. It should show you the current user assigned to the device, the serial number, the last time the iPad checked in with our systems, enrollment information, compliance information, network connectivity, as well as other profiles, messages, or preferences that may have been pushed to your iPad. On the left hand side you will see a helpful resources box. This box will contain links that may help assist you in some self-service troubleshooting issues. You will see links to TechSmart, which is Compass Group's IT SharePoint site that has documentation on just about anything IT related. The device management team's website is also listed, as well as the mobile device support form. The My Devices section will just list your device that you're currently accessing. The contact information will list the mobile device support email address, as well as a link to send logs to our management console. This may be necessary when we help troubleshoot device issues for you. Now let's move on to our support methods. Now let's review some support options for your company issued iPad. As a disclaimer, 
the Compass Group mobile device support team does not support cellular charges that may be incurred on a cellular enabled device. For cellular enabled devices, cellular accounts, cellular changes, we kindly ask that you reach out to the wireless help desk. Their contact information is located in the owner's management suite. The Compass Group mobile device support team does not support the internal workings of an application. We will ensure that an application is installed on the device and is launching correctly. If the application is not installed or is crashing, you may reach out to us for assistance. Else you will need to contact the application owner for further assistance and support. Another option is to use the device support icon located on your iPad home screen. Once you find the icon, go ahead and launch it. The Compass Group mobile device support form is an online form and upon submission comes directly to our team for assistance. Once you submit the form, the request will come to us and a service desk ticket will be opened automatically based on the information you inputted into this form. When filling out this form, please ensure that you complete it with the correct information. Please include your first and last name, your email address. For your email address, please enter an email address that you check all the time. We prefer that you enter your Compass email address. Then enter your phone number, your call center SAP number, select your country. Once you select your country, please tell us what sector you are with. After selecting your sector, please tell us the device type we are going to be troubleshooting. In my case, I'm going to select iPad. Then enter your device serial number. This is required as the only way we are able to look up your device in our system is using a provided serial number. There are two places to check for your device serial number. The first place can be found on the back of your iPad towards the bottom. It will be a mixture of letters and numbers and can be anywhere from 9 to 12 characters in length. Another way you can access the serial number is by going to Settings, General, About, Serial Number. From this screen, you can copy the serial number, go back to your support form, and paste the serial number into the device serial number field. After inputting the device serial number, please tell us what kind of issue you are having with your device. If your issue is not app related, select no and then give us a brief description of your issue. If your issue is app related, you may find a list of applications in this list. If your application is not listed in this list, choose other not listed and then please give us a brief description of your issue. Once you tap submit, you'll be prompted with a submission confirmation page. Please look in your email inbox for an email from Remedy Service within 10 to 15 minutes after submission. It will contain your help desk ticket number and any references to the support requests you have made. If you need to make a new request, tap new request and fill out the form. Please only submit the form one time per issue. Another way of accessing the device support form is in Hub. Launch Hub, tap the support field, and then tap mobile device support form. Should you still need assistance, the Compass Group IT Service Desk can help you as well. Please dial 1-888 
and then press option two.